folks, it's great to see you again. Before I say anything, what is going on with you, my friend? <laughs> what? what do you mean? You getting smaller and smaller oh, every boy. time I see you look fantastic. Thank you very much. Uh, it's it's better living, basically. I had a health scare, so it was one of these get better or die, basically. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I turned my life around, which is great because I want to be around for my family. I'm and, glad uh, you chose get better. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's a good, smart choice. Yeah, this you. content with, uh, I'll take die. <laughs> what? <laughs> Paul, come on. You know what some people do? I, it, it's, it's been, I mean, you know, like clean living is hard, oh, yeah, right? Yes. And for like 45, 44 years, it was just like, yeah, I'll eat whatever and no consequences. And now it's like, no, there's a bill to be paid and so it, it really is just about being disciplined and finding that balance so you're not you can still enjoy yourself but you got to be better so yeah, but, yeah but the best thing is you, you you're looking slim and trim but you put on that plaid shirt and you go into the store and i'm like there's appa he, <laughs> appa's smaller but it's still appa and that's Absolutely. that's what's great and yeah. it's a great show too it's been in the hearts of everybody families across this country um you know, we always keep saying the same things over and over again. How does it feel making the impact that you guys have done with this show, bringing sitcoms back, but doing it in such a special Canadian way? Uh, it's incredibly satisfying and really gratifying, especially when we hear from fans, whether we bump into them on the street or on Twitter. There are a lot of people who are just really excited um, to see a family that they recognize and to see a milieu where, where pe people are coming from all over the world and, and crossing paths in, in, in Toronto, in our convenience store. So it's, it's really, really um, gratifying. But we should explain, though, um, we're missing somebody because this isn't the whole family, are we? No, no, we're missing. Uh, we're missing Andrea and Nicole. I think mm -hmm. Andrea can. <laughs> I know who Nicole is. Who's Andrea? Who? Andrea, Who's that? She plays your daughter. I have a daughter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, she moved out in season two. She's no, dead to that me. Was the, that was the. That was the drugs and alcohol. You don't remember much, but. Uh... Yeah, no, we missed it. We're just saying how, you know, it didn't feel complete. It was just the four of us. She's um, in Vancouver. But she's in Vancouver, and Nicole, she, Nicole, she's I believe, is... in New York. Yeah. Yeah, she's in New York this weekend. What's yeah. she doing? Celebrating her birthday. Oh, yeah. Hey, we got to say happy birthday. Okay. Uh, to Nicole, happy, uh, happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday, birthday, Nicole. Nicole. Hey, also, though, none of us got invites to your birthday party, yeah, we're so we're just... Yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. just feel a little weird. We should bring that up. Yeah. <laughs> What I also <laughs> what I also want to bring up is this show has also opened up doors for you guys. You have a second show on CBC. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, Canada's smartest person, Junior. Yeah. Yeah, which is uh, uh, such a tremendous. It's so humbling and like a tremendous honor to be thought of in that way. And uh, you know, I had to ask uh, this guy over here for some advice as to whether I could do it or not because I'd never hosted anything before. And he said, and I keep saying this. He says, Paul, you're Canada's Uppa. You're going to be dealing with kids. I can't think of a better host, and that really sort of cinched it for me. And, so. and you know, last time you and I saw each other was on yeah. the red carpet in yeah. Toronto because yeah. you were you were in a movie recently. I, well, I did Little Italy with yeah. uh, Emma Roberts and Hayden Christensen, and it's so cool that like this show has opened up doors for us as performers. Mm -hmm. And I love. I remember when the first time I met you. I walked in and, and you and you were ask, asking me questions and you looked at me, you're like, you're an Asian comedian from Calgary? <laughs> and you were blown away. You're like, where have you been? And I love that this show has allowed us to kind of step out and for people to be like, where have you been? And we've been here honing our craft and now we get to showcase ourselves. And that's yes, the best. You, and you're doing a great job of that. But this new season, what can we expect from this? I mean, like I said, we're part of the family now. We're following along. What's happening in this new season? Well, I think I think we've really hit a comfort level, uh, you know, going into the third season, you know, in seasons one and two. And, and speaking for Andrew and I specifically, too, like, you know, coming into this, you know, wonderful world that that uh, Paul and Jean and in have been the gatekeepers of for so long and have been the caretakers of, sorry, I should say. Um, and, and then for us to come in, we were very nervous and, and very anxious not to mess it up. And so going into season three, I think there was a real comfort because we had spent some time with our characters. We were feeling more confident. And just, you know, speaking to the season in general, I mean, I think the writers have had a, a certain amount of time with us as well. I think you're going to see a lot of the different members of the family in different scenarios with one another. Um, the world is going to get blown, you know, wide open so there's going to be more auxiliary characters who are really really hilarious in their own right and and you're going to get deeper into a lot of these side characters like you know the Geralds and the you know the Chelsea's uh, Terrence you know always a fan favorite yeah. really really excited for you guys to see it have you run out of places to put your awards 
I mean, every time when I ever, because no, when I see you specifically. Me? No, yeah. no, no. I, it, it's Paul, and these guys have won two CSAs. I won an actor award, and then our show won a, an actor award for best mm -hmm. ensemble. I have mine uh, just uh, on a shelf by the dining room table, and there's they're like l lovely ladies like this, and sometimes I arrange them so that they're touching hands <laughs> and they're dancing. Sometimes they're both like, you know, like to the future. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I don't know. What do you do with all your awards? Because you've got a lot of them. Uh, well, no, I don't. Uh, I just, they're up on my geek shelf with yeah. uh, with my comic books and my collectibles and stuff. And it's it's lovely because we actually got, uh, I mean, Thunderbird was so, uh, yeah. uh, Yvonne gave us all uh, a copy of the statue uh, for when we bought, went for ensemble. Best Ensemble. Mm -hmm. So that's in the middle and my two CSAs are kind of flanking it on the sides. And it's, it's a nice reminder. Um, and, uh, you know, to just sort of things that are possible when yeah. you're given an opportunity, mm -hmm. you know? And that, that's the biggest thing is, like, to, to let us through the door and give us a chance to show everyone else what we can do. And I think that's, that's been the biggest thing. It's not how you get the opportunity. It's what you do with it. And uh, blessed to have such amazing support all across the board for that so okay well i just need to know is there any chance that you guys might need i don't know a black canadian neighbor that can hang out and help you guys out i don't know do you need milk do you need a newspaper do you need a candy do you Come need to rent to a car store? yeah we know do you know how place. to rent cars because i i think we can we can Ooh. use you on our team right do you need a potato chip? Uh, spaghetti no. Shazam no. ham? Uh, Somehow. Sing? We have all kinds of things for you. This is why I love these people, and this is why I love this show. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, congratulations on the new season. I cannot wait to see it, and cannot wait to see you guys once again on the red carpet, because it's going to happen again. Congratulations. Thank you so, Thank so much, Rudy. Thank you.